Peter Brown, you are relatively new to Days of Our Lives. How I'm one of the new relatives. Right? <laughs> okay. <laughs> How new are you? How many months has it been now? Uh, this, I'm going in about my third month, and I think about my 15th or 16th show. Well, do you feel like you're kind of settling into something you find groovy? I like the discipline of doing Days of Our Lives uh, from an actor's standpoint, and I like the people that are involved with it. Um, the situations get a little complex from time to time. I have a little difficulty, you know, following them because I'm not on the show every day. But aside from that, I enjoy the show very much. Does it give you time to do other things, yes. acting-wise? which I also enjoy. Uh -huh. I just completed a Mission Impossible a couple of weeks ago, which I got back into the old uh, action, and uh, I was a heavy on that one. Oh, I'm not supposed to say that. <laughs> but um, I just did another film, an independent picture. So I've been doing other things as well, and they're very nice about working around, uh, you know, my schedule if I'm busy. So. Well, I was just going to say, Peter, that isn't that a little bit unusual, though, for uh, an actor to get that kind of latitude working in a daytime drama? Well, if I were one of the regulars on the show, they're all under contract, per se, to that show. And in other words, Days of Our Lives has precedent on their time. I am not under contract to the show because I only do one every 10 days or every two weeks. And therefore, in order for them to put me under contract or on an exclusive basis, uh, it would cost them too much money for me only appearing every couple of weeks. Now, if Greg Peters, the character that I you know, portray on, on the show, if he becomes more important to the show or if they want him around more, then we would probably have to work out some sort of an exclusive contract. Would you like to be in it, say, every day or four out of five days? Very honestly, no. I wouldn't, because uh, I want, if I can keep the latitude of doing other things, I want to be able to do that. You have acted, I was looking in your bio, and you have done so many films and so many TV shows. Is there any one actor or actors, actress you've worked with, Peter, that you thought was just particularly outstanding? One of them is here. As a matter of fact, you just interviewed him, Burl Ives. Oh, really? Yeah. Yes. He was up right before you. Burl and I did a film together for Disney called Summer Magic with Haley Mills and Dorothy McGuire. And I'll never forget the first scene I played with him. Rascal's sitting right over there. <laughs> He's too and, busy to notice you're talking about him. But uh, the first scene I played with him was, you know, a regular scene, but he just gets an electricity going and the, the scene just grows. It's, I learned a lot from working with him on that, on that picture. And he's a delightful human being as well. He's one, Neville Brand from Laredo, uh, very, very talented, bright man. And we're neighbors now out at Malibu. We live at the beach. And those two particular fellows come to mind abruptly. Do you find that uh, people tend to uh, remember you best for the lawman? Is that your image still? I think so. From uh, the fans' point of view, yes. I think uh, particularly the adults now. You know, Most of the kids today um, aren't really familiar with that program unless they're living in an area of the country where it's still being rerun. And but the adults, yes, they, they loved Lawman. It was on for a long time, it was on for four years, and it was a very you know, well-accepted show. I like the show, too. I mean, John Russell and I still see one another, you know, we're still good friends. And we have thoughts sometimes of, you know, maybe trying to do the same kind of premise into a feature motion picture, which, you know, might happen one day. You know. Well, we'll look for it if it does. I hope so. And Peter, thank you for talking thank with you us today. Thank you, Pleasure.